here to go back with another video if you're new to this place welcome to my channel baby over here my motivational lifestyle and beauty vlogger but if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel if you're new to this place and you like the sound of being a motivational lifestyle and beauty vlogger please hit the subscribe button and become part of my Maporsa gang darling But get today's video is how I maintain a positive mindset. People have been asking me to record a video and talk about this thing, you know. They kind of, okay, let's not deep, deep. Anyway, I have one, two, three, four, five, five points. I'm mentioning five points on how I maintain a positive mindset. And I have written them down Yeah, So I'll be looking more on this side. I'll be looking on this side more frequently. Anyway. The first point is not letting people's thoughts bother me. Uh, that's the one thing I do. Frequently, I don't let people's thoughts about me. Oh, it's cold, Kesana. Please don't mind the jacket. Number one, I don't let people's thoughts bother me. I don't let people, people what people think of me get to me, you know. Because people have negative comments or how you live your life, you know. And now, um, as a social media person, I have a lot of people that follow me. Like, I have a lot of contacts, a lot of followers, a lot of subscribers. You see, those people, most of those people, are just there because I'm there. Uh, uh, okay, how can I put this? Most of the people on my on my uh, on my circle, I know me. I, I know this for the fact that most of the people in my circle, oh, uh, this is so uncomfortable. I know for the fact that most of the people in my circle are there just because they know one day I'll make it. Okay? They feel like I've made it in life. So they know that they'll need me. And, and by need me, I mean like um, they know when they have something that they want to push, like they have a hustle, they know that, okay, I have someone that has the people, you know? Because I remember once this other person, um, um, what do you call this, approached me and you talked to me to a guy, he spoke to me and he was like, I know you have the numbers and uh, I'm willing to work with you. Oh, he said it like that, but it didn't really mean that. It mean it like that. It, that's not what he really meant. What he meant was he wants to use me so that he can push up his brand. I was like, it doesn't work like that. So I know that, okay, most of the people that are around me, most of the people in my circle, I say because they know I have the numbers and the numbers will grow. So they know that, okay, as Donnie, let me just be friends with this person and see where she's going. Because one day I will meet her and one day I know she will push up my phone. Then there are people that really like me, like they genuinely hype me up. Then there are people that are there just to watch me fall. You know, they are there to watch my what's happening now. Has she fallen with you? I get negative comments from time to time, but just because of the comments, like the positive ones, the hype, the hype men of my life, the hype, the people that hype me up, the people that push me up, just because of them, I don't let those negative comments get the better of me. And I've put myself, I've told myself this a very long time ago, but whatever people say is not true, what I mean is not effective, unless if I believe so. So I, I, I taught my mind not to believe whatever people say, especially when I feel like it will get to me, it will hit me as hard as I don't know. But then, yeah, the second point is uh, if I'm going through a tough time, I look beyond the situation, I don't focus on what's happening at the moment. If you know me, you know um, that I do need Okowai. Okowai simply means going through a most just because of a particular thing, like just because of the situation that you're in right now is not. You know, it's not okay and stuff like that. That's okay for what if if you feel like that's the wrong definition, please do comment down and correct me. But yeah, that's what Ukukowa means for those that don't know. Yeah, but now, so um, now if you find the power, when I'm going through the most in, in life, I don't look at the current situation that I'm in. I look, I look beyond the situation because I know 
um, once this has passed, I won't, I won't be going through a tough time, and I'll be happy, you know. So I look, I look forward to that happiness. I make sure that my mind doesn't focus on what is happening at this moment, because once I, I let my mind focus on this, I will think negatively, and I won't be effective. I won't be productive, you know. So I, whatever situation I am in, I am in. Um, I look beyond the, the okay, whatever, I, if I'm going through a tough time, I look beyond the current situation. I don't focus on what's happening at the moment. Third point is I pray about things that are out of my control. If you know me, I'm a mental health advocate and um, I usually advo- uh, I usually talk, express how much, I'm a Christian, most, I express how much a person needs to, to toss their worries into God, unto God. So that they don't really stress a lot, you know, especially in situations that they know they can't control. Because as a person, most you go through things in life of which you want, you did not expect them to happen. But at the end of the day, they happened and you can see that, okay, it's out of my control. There's nothing, there's literally nothing I can do about it, you know. But yeah, yeah. Um, pray about it. If you are pasha, pasha, do what you, you believe in. You know, especially for situations that you feel like, okay, this is out of my control. I absolutely cannot deal with this, whatever. You know, just talk to God about it and try not to stress about it. Don't think about it too much, you know. Yeah, be that person that doesn't focus on that situation. And be that person that doesn't take their worries on, on the shoulder, like hold them, hold on onto the, the, the problems that they have. Just let them go. Don't think about them. Like try to find something that might distract you from that. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. We all have problems and we all go through things. Just try to minimize those, those thoughts, those negative thoughts in order for you to have a positive mindset. The fourth point is read Bible scriptures. As a Christian, I read the Bible. I have a lot of verses that I like um, that um, support having a, a, a positive mindset. I love those verses a lot. I usually express them about John 14 verse 27, about Philippians. And so, I love those verses because they, they, they encourage me to not stress about whatever I am. It, as it is not my place to be stressing about such things, you know. Um, the next, uh, the, the next, the last but not least point is I do what I feel is best for me. Yeah, but one thing about me, I am a person that is entitled to my own opinion. Like, I know it sounds wrong, yeah, but um, I do what I feel like is best for me. People have their own, own opinions about me, but I'm like one person that tells myself, but um, um, your opinion about me does not really matter. That it, my opinion matters the most, whatever situation, even when we're debating, my friends know, even when we're debating, and I have my facts, you have your facts. I, sometimes you have more facts than me, but at the end of the day, I tell you that my opinion matters the most because it's what I feel best goes for me. And I'm that person, people say, I feel the world revolves around me. At the end of the day, it's my life. So obviously the world revolves around me since it's my life. Maybe it does for you too, but for me, it, you know, I always try to convince myself that whatever, whatever makes me happy goes, as long as I'm not harming myself, nor harming anyone near me, you know. And at the end of the day, we're all here to make a good living, to, to enjoy life, you know, uh, fulfill our, purpose, our purposes in life and stuff like that. Anyway, those are my five points. I have more, but I felt like I need to just outline this, you know, as a person in life, whatever you're going through, try not to look at that current situation and look beyond this, if it's a tough situation and ensure that you celebrate every single achievement in life. No matter what, celebrate, just celebrate so that when you're going through a tough time, you know, okay, I achieved that and I celebrated it. I was happy at this time. What can I do now to, 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 to regain that happiness again, you know, in life? Yeah, you need to be that kind of person. Think positively most of the time, you know. That's all I can say because at the end of the day, I cannot force you to think positively. I cannot force you to think like that. It's up to you on how you want to do your things. But as for me, that is how I do my stuff, and I hope the I hope these five points um have taught you something. And I hope if you are a negative thinker, I hope you'll change your ways and try to think more positively. Like just write down notes on how to on okay, okay when you when you're happy, just save it down so that when you go into a tough time, you check. But okay, I was happy at this part at this point of time and stuff like that. You know that's like uh i feel like i'm talking too much but yeah i just hope this message is effective and yeah 
anyway thank you for watching um stay blessed stay cute stay pretty yeah your girl's going to study now because hey it's in my exam season but okay guys thank you for watching please hit the subscribe button like the video and share with your friends see you on my next video okay I almost said bye guys I love y'all and thank you for joining the Maposo what what you buy the most close again oh by the way this name was given by a friend okay my friends my few friends of mine mine take this moment and greet my housemate say hi hi, hi. hi Toki, come 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 this side baby hi my boss again thank you so much for watching bye guys and for my, for my, for my, for my, for my international viewers i'm from south africa africa